Hey there, fellow Leonardians. The Leonardo devs have been hard at work trying to keep up with the Joneses, and this week, they released a new feature called Motion. Motion uses any text input or image that you've created in Leonardo and transforms it into a short four second video. Now, if you're into the new AI tools like I am, you'll know that there are other text to video, image to video, and video to video tools out there and available. Unfortunately, not all of them are created equal. Here's my little problem that I have with motion. As a content creator, movement is a key element in keeping a viewer captivated and interested. You know, so they don't click on the YouTube home button just like you were about to do. Anyway, this particular channel of mine uses AI images, usually within the 3 to 8 second range. But Leo's motion is limited to 4 seconds. Or is it? So I'm sure the devs will add the ability to lengthen their videos in 3 to 4 second increments as time goes on, much like their competitors do. But for now, I needed a workaround. So in order for this workaround to work, you'll need access to Leonardo.ai, Photoshop, or some other similar editing program, and a video editor. First, we need to find the image that we want to animate. Let's go with this cute squirrel dancing in a club with flashing lights wearing a disco outfit. And let's run it through motion. Okay, now we'll download the completed MP4 and open it in Photoshop. Play the MP4 in Photoshop in order to move the timeline to the final frame. Copy the final frame with the Rectangular Marquee tool in Photoshop. Create a new image in Photoshop and paste the final frame into the new image. Now we'll export or save this new image as a JPEG. Okay, now let's bring this new image back into Leonardo by using the Image to Image tool. Okay, remember when using image to image, the higher the number is, the more the image will remain the same as what you're trying to input, right? So keep it up to 90 and hit generate. Okay, now once the image is available in Leo, just run it through motion like you did the original. Now sometimes the results will be off, so just keep running motion until you get the movement that you were looking for to match your first video. Once you find it, download it and combine the two videos together in your video editor. So there you go, a quick way to add another 4 seconds to a video. I hope you enjoyed, make sure you like, subscribe and comment, and we'll see you soon. Bye.